Oh, hey there. So, right now I'm going to do a review. I plan to do the like, opinionated thing, but I figure I'm going to wait and talk about politics so my head's a little bit more clear. <coughs> so, uh, as I wait for my tea to steep, I uh, finally got to see this movie. Now, I, I have to preface this by saying there is a slight bias here. I have, I'm a huge fan of the uh, Planet of the Apes films. I grew up on them. It was probably the first science fiction. A lot of people, Star Wars was the first film that, like, science fiction film that made, like, that really made that impact. <clears throat> My better half, that <clears throat> was a movie that kind of changed your life into, <clears throat> to hit down the road to Geeksville, like uh, me. But, uh, for me, it was Planet of the Apes. Uh, I love the uh, movies, even the bad ones. I uh, love the TV series. Unfortunately, it was very short-lived. And I really loved the cartoon. I thought the cartoon was actually extremely well done. <clears throat> it's always been one of those that I thought has been a much more uh, intelligent science fiction film series than many of them out there. <clears throat> and it really shines like a, a circus funhouse mirror on a society. <clears throat> but because my better half is not a Planet of the Apes fan, it, I had to wait a long time to see this. And... <clears throat> Being sick, I woke up this morning, and because uh, I'd bought it recently on Blu-ray, and finally, I know I know you're going to be surprised because everybody else has seen this movie. I uh, finally got to watch this, <clears throat> Rise of the Planet of the Apes, and uh, <clears throat> it was incredible. <clears throat> the uh, plot line, basically, uh, <clears throat> I guess it's not giving away anything right now. There may be some spoilers in here is that uh, James Franco plays a uh, scientist whose father, played by John Lithgow, one of my favorite character actors of all time. I did not know he was in the movie, so that was a pleasant surprise. <clears throat> he has uh, been stricken with Alzheimer's, and it has gotten really, really bad to the point where uh, life for uh, with him has become almost unbearable for him and for the, the, the one that works with him. He has been working as a scientist trying to uh, cure Alzheimer's. He's been using uh, chimpanzees, orang tanks, to a... Uh, to get the uh, to get to that spot, so finally at the beginning of the film, they've come upon this <clears throat> miracle drug that has increased the intelligence of this ape dramatically. Now uh, <clears throat> he goes straight to his uh, his boss Jacob, who's uh, I think it's Jacob anyway, I'm not sure, <clears throat> who's a uh, is a corporate bastard basically, and he cares about like the <clears throat> the numbers. So, well, James Franco is out there telling his, uh, telling them about this new miracle drug. They're starting to take the, uh, <coughs> the ape out to, uh, <coughs> sorry, what do you call it? Bright Eyes, to, uh, to be shown to the people. But she flips out for some reason, and he can't quite figure out why. She's trying to, like, not leave the cage, and when they make her leave the cage, she tries to, like, get away. And, uh, it, unfortunately, it ends with the, uh, with the death of her character, and uh, the uh, corporate boss being so upset that he orders the eradication of all the, uh, the apes that are on the uh, <clears throat> in the testing facility. Now, the uh, the scientist that works with uh, James Franco is played by Tyler, <coughs> sorry, played by Tyler Labine, who uh, of course is in shows like Reaper and stuff like that. And uh, he notices after all the rest of the apes have been uh, killed that she didn't, she wasn't violent, she wasn't reacting to some sort of like offshoot from the medicine she was protecting her baby she was she just had a, a baby and they uh, managed to whisk the baby out and he stays with James Franco which is only supposed to be temporary but uh, turns into a permanent thing and soon James Franco realizes that the ape has pat that bright eyes has passed this intelligence onto uh, the the baby that will be named Caesar and uh, to a, <clears throat> a great tenfold. <clears throat> uh, Caesar is an extremely intelligent uh, little guy and as he grows they realize that uh, he sneaks the, some stuff out, uses it on John Lithgow and not only does it cure his Alzheimer's but it <clears throat> makes him a lot smarter. And this goes on for a few years as Caesar grows but unfortunately after a while <laughs> it's found out that the drug which is work great for apes because they have a great, uh, like a different immune system and a much better immune system than ours. They can fight off any, this here thing is a 
but we as, as humans see it as a virus <clears throat> and we fight it off and end up worse off afterwards. So unfortunately John Lithgow's character ends up uh, back worse than ever. Think of uh, Flowers of Algernon. And uh, <clears throat> Caesar when uh, is trying to protect John Lithgow when he gets back into one of the states of Alzheimer's, a kind of a dementia thing from a, uh, a prickish neighbor. He uh, he gets taken away by animal control <clears throat> and is stuck in a uh, in this uh, facility where they're uh, treated horribly and tortured. And some of them are actually snuck out in the middle of the night, either uh, dead or uh, <clears throat> drugged, and taken somewhere else. And he's not sure where yet, but he wants to find out where. Now James Frank was trying to get Caesar back, but he's been he's been distracted by his father's worsening condition, <clears throat> and he works on making an even stronger. Uh, drug to uh, to help his dad. Unfortunately, it doesn't work, and his father does die. <clears throat> but it does make the the apes hyper intelligent, and uh, the uh, boss does all kinds of like cruel testing on these apes. We don't see it, but we're kind of no shown that it happened. We see one ape with like a, has a scarred face. <clears throat> Obviously, the one that's gotten the worst of it, the uh, patient zero, if you will. For uh, in this case, because they don't know about us, Caesar. Caesar's been taken away to a, and uh, Caesar realizes how bad that they've been treated, and how they're subjugated, and he tries to uh, gather them into like a group. But unfortunately, he has the intelligence, and he meets a circus ape that kind of has intelligence as well, uh, not from a drug, but from being around and learning from signing that, <coughs> named uh, Zaius, <clears throat> and he realizes that he's got to get them some sort of a semblance of intelligence if he's going to gather them together as a group. So he s breaks out of the of his facility that he's in, sneaks back to James Franco's house, and takes two uh, canisters of the new Im improved uh, formula. Brings it in, and like, because it's now an air-based thing, he, uh, he gets the apes to uh, breathe it in. Basically, they have no choice. And uh, <clears throat> they gain intelligence at an extreme uh, Amount and it goes on from there. There, this is where we're going to see the rise of the of the apes. We're going to hear the ape speak his first words. We're going to hear that classic line that Charles Nesson spoke, except spoke from a really mean actor, in this one here. And we're going to see uh, some incredible special effects. The effects in this movie are phenomenal, and uh, with uh, having to work with so many, uh, so much CGI for these apes and stuff like that, uh, Andy Circus, uh, just like he did with Gollum, breathes life into the character of. Uh, Caesar in such a great way. He is so amazing with uh, the way that he, uh, his his movements, the way that he does things. He's just an incredible actor. And I think one of these days, Circus has to be like acknowledged by the Academy for the stuff he does. Because the stuff he does takes an incredible amount of acting and experience and work. And uh, <clears throat> Gollum was an incredibly thought, fleshed out character in uh, Lord of the Rings. No matter if you liked him or not. I'm not a big Lord of the Rings fan. <clears throat> but I can acknowledge the fact that the character was incredible. I am a big Planet of the Apes fan, and Caesar is an amazing flesh to a character. Uh, this is an incredible film. It's thrilling from beginning to end. Uh, it may not be for everybody. If you're not a Planet of the Apes fan, you might, you may not like this. Or if seeing, uh, like you know, animals that get hurt, if that kind of bothers you sometimes, some animals get hurt in this. Of course, it's the rise of the Planet of the Apes. There are, uh, you know, casualties on both sides. I cannot wait for Don and the Plan of the Apes. Uh, I did not see Franco in the trailers, so I'm guessing he may not have come back for yes. that. Is he coming back? Well, I know when they show someone walk with a hoodie. Yeah, that's Franco. The forest. Well, you assume it must be him. Oh, okay. So Franco so may be back. To speak to <coughs> that would be that would be awesome. So if Franco's back. That that's incredible. But I cannot wait to see Don anyway. Uh, let me guys let let me know what you guys thought of Rise of the Plan of the Apes. So I'm, Sure, there's a million reviews on here about this movie by now, and I've tried to stick away from them because I wanted to see this movie with a. Uh, I've heard great stuff about it, but I wanted to see this myself. And uh, if you notice the green in the eyes, that's uh, purposeful because the uh, the Genesis, uh, the formula it's used, actually uh, causes green flickers in the eyes, which shows their intelligence. And as you can see, Caesar is extremely intelligent. I uh, really enjoyed this film. Uh, this is my first uh, review today. I'm probably going to be doing some more because my uh, better half has a has a uh, social gathering to go to, but unfortunately I'm not feeling well, so I, I shan't be able to go to it. 
but uh, my tea is steeping like crazy, and it's going to be very strong. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, if you haven't seen the movie, give it a chance. That's really, I thought I thought it was a fantastic movie, personally. I would definitely give this, I know people like to give these, like, out of ten type ratings, or four thumbs up, or four thumbs, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, or, you know, two thumbs up type of thing. Uh, I'm just going to say, it gets a high recommendation from me. If you're a fan of science fiction, if you're the CGI is done extremely well, Circus is is Caesar and he does a great job. Franco is is incredible in this. Uh, Franco's an underrated actor, man. <clears throat> I gotta say, he does what he does and he does it well. Uh, and he, uh, and I'm sure he has great weed. So, but <laughs> it's a great film. Just uh, check it out. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, can't wait for the new one. I'm going to have to see it in theater. My better half will not go with me, so I'm going to look for some other people to go with and see this movie. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, it's time for tea.